Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Perkins, your board certified OBGYN. And today we're talking about, is there a cure for syphilis and gonorrhea? In this episode, we will talk about both the infections of syphilis and gonorrhea. We'll talk about the signs and symptoms of each of these infections. And more importantly, we'll talk about the cures that are available. So let's first talk about syphilis and what it is. Syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection that is caused by the bacterium Trypanema pallidum. With this infection, we're noticing that here in the United States, there has been a significant rise since 2010 to the present, and it continues to grow. Between the years of 2021 and 2022, we saw a 26% increase in diagnosis and infections. We also saw a 24% rise in newborn or congenital syphilis. So this is a very important topic to talk about and getting cured is very important. Syphilis is spread by contact with someone who actively has a sore vaginally, anally, or orally. Without treatment, syphilis can cause significant health issues. There are different stages of syphilis infections and it's important that we talk about these so you can have a deeper understanding of what this infection really looks like. The first stage of syphilis is where on your body, wherever you had the contact and this bacterium passed through the skin, you'll have a sore that is formed in that area. Now, this can be in the rectum, in the anus, on the penis, in the vagina. Any contact with this sore may spread the infection. These sores are round, firm, painless, and may last up to four or five weeks before becoming completely healed. Now these sores will heal even if you did not get any treatment or testing for syphilis. So that is to say, if the sores have healed, that does not mean you should not get tested. Still see your doctor if you suspect that this might be an infection that you had. In the second stage of syphilis, you may notice a rash on your body. In the stage, you may have flu-like symptoms such as fevers, headache, swelling. You may notice like little round knots under your skin or your lymph nodes that are swollen and tender. If any of these are present, is an indication that you're in the second stage of a syphilis infection. Now, after the second stage, syphilis goes into a latent period of time where nothing is physically being shown on your body, you're not having any symptoms, and there are no signs. During this stage, syphilis is still internally in your system, and so treatment is still necessary. If you have syphilis and you were not treated in the first stage, the second stage, or during the latent stage, you may continue on to stage number three. In this stage, you are at risk of having internal organ infections and damage as well. Sometimes this stage may not present itself for 10, 15, or even 20 years. So your primary infection could have happened way in the past, but no treatment was ever done, no testing was ever done, and so the infection can present. At that time, you may have an infection of your brain, your heart, your lungs, your kidneys, your blood vessels, any organ internally may be affected. If you're enjoying our conversation today and what you're learning on this channel, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel, but let's go back to the content. How do you know if you have syphilis? Well, a simple blood test can be done by your doctors. When you ask for an STD panel, a syphilis test is often incorporated as well. While syphilis is in your body, it may cause damage to any of your reproductive organs as well as other organs, so treatment is imperative. How do we do this? Well, penicillin is the treatment of choice. And even if you have a penicillin allergy, you can still be treated. Just talk to your doctors about this. The penicillin treatment can be done with one dose or depending on your stage, you may need multiple doses up to three. So that was all about syphilis. In part two, we will talk about gonorrhea and how to cure it. I'll see you over there.